To replace the front shock absorber, you will need to safely raise and support the vehicle. Please follow the link at the end of this video for further assistance with those procedures. This picture illustrates the left side wheel well. Remove the 19 mm strut fastener as indicated by the green arrow. You will have to counter hold the back of the bolt with a 19 mm wrench pictured here. Pull the washer and bolt out of both the shock absorber and the spindle mount. The ABS sensor connector is also held on with this fastener. It can hang loose while you remove the shock absorber. Put a jack underneath the lower control arm to support the arm and spindle while disconnecting the fasteners. Working at the base of the shock absorber, remove the two 19mm fasteners, green and yellow arrows, that hold the base of the shock absorber onto the spindle. One of the fasteners you cannot see, green arrow, because it is hidden behind the shock absorber in this picture. With the base of the shock absorber loose, rotate it clockwise until you see the electrical connectors clipped on the shock absorber body. Push in on the locking tab, red arrow, and remove the electrical connector mount in the direction of the blue arrow to remove it from the shock absorber. Grab the smaller harness, green arrow, and pull it away from the holder in the direction of the yellow arrow. This picture illustrates the engine compartment at the top of the left side shock tower. Remove the 22 mm fastener, green arrow, at the top of the shock absorber. If the shock absorber shaft spins with the fastener, insert a 5 mm Allen head socket in the top of the shock shaft, yellow arrow, and counter hold it with a ratchet. Twist the shock absorber retaining bracket 45 degrees and wiggle it a little to get it off of the shock absorber mount. Pull the shock absorber away from the spindle and pull it in a downwards motion to remove it from the vehicle. Make sure you install a new or used bump stop green arrow on the new shock absorber before installing. If you are replacing the shock absorber upper mount, remove the three 13mm fasteners as indicated by the green arrows at the top of the shock tower. We suggest replacing this part as it wears with the strut. Pull down on the upper shock mount and remove it from the vehicle. Installation is the reverse of the removal procedures. Install the upper shock mount in the shock tower and tighten the fasteners. Then install the shock absorber shaft in the upper strut tower and install the upper shock mounting retaining bracket. Tighten the fastener and install the two electrical harnesses to the side of the shock absorber body. Line up the two bolt holes at the base of the shock absorber using the jack if you need to and then tighten those fasteners. Fit the ABS sensor connector bracket in place and install the washer and fastener then tighten it. Install the wheel and drop the car and you're done. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.